Hi everyone, welcome back to Foil Labs. Um, you'll notice I am not in my overalls or working gear because I'm not actually planning on getting dirty. Um, this is a, a, a video that runs parallel to the two other videos that I've done, but it deals with a number of questions that I've had around IQ and um, the IQ racing equipment. So that means the IQ Olympic class and also the IQ junior and youth kits. So the important thing to remember here is we're talking about the modification of foils and how we can repair scratches and so on. But if you have purchased an IQ youth and junior kit or an IQ Olympic kit, there are class rules. And that's what's super important about this particular um, video. And it's really important that if you are going to represent your uh, your nationals, qualify at your nationals, and then race overseas at international events, it's super important that you're aware that any at any one of those particular events, there could be a measurer, or there would be a measurer, and I've been a measurer at a national event. And measurers are there to make sure that everybody has exactly the same equipment and there are no modifications or or people trying to gain an advantage by um, adjusting or modifying their equipment. And in this case, we're dealing with foils. So the first thing that's important is go to the uh, Windfoil IQ uh, Windfoil website and understand your class rules. And just um, just for your example, if you come closer, um, I have quickly downloaded and printed off page 10 and 11 of the class rules of the IQ foil and I've highlighted um, hull appendages and modifications and also maintenance and also repair and particularly in this area it deals with what you can and cannot do um, with regards to surfacing or wet and drying or repairing your foils all right so in this case um, the coating uh, coating of your foil is is not permitted as part of maintenance and sanding as part of maintenance is only permitted on the paint layers and shall not reach the inner uh, internal carbon um, layers so it's interesting because when we look at here so this is this is a, um, a 900 square meter IQ race foil and when I flip it over if I was a measurer the first thing that I would look for, obviously it's got the insignia here, but the thing that all of your IQ equipment will have, including the youth and junior kits, is this uh, serial number with the, um, with the uh, um, QR code. So, and this code here, so when this product leaves the manufacturer, they have registered this product and against that serial number, is that product's dimensions and so at an event a measurer could reference that serial number to make sure that that is actually a true IQ uh, 900 race foil. So when you buy your equipment it's really important that you that you look after these stickers. Yes they do get worn off um, and a good way uh, one of the ways that we've dealt with this is we've asked our racers to take um, photographs of their equipment and also um, in New Zealand at a national level we we keep a record of our races um, um, serial numbers and pieces so that's an example of the um, of the code on the nine uh, 900 square meter but also if you come a little bit closer here on the fuselage um, since I took this uh, lifting wing off, here again is the the, code, the QR code and also the serial number for the fuselage. These ones do tend to wear off quickly because it's aluminium and carbon, and aluminium and carbon and salt water is um, turns into a little bit of a battery, and uh, these stickers can uh, they can come off. And once again, um, on the elevator. So on the elevator, again, here's where you'll find 
the registration for your product. And then on the mast, where the uh, where the, the mast goes into the tunnel box again, here is the registration. Joe is a measurer at an event. This is what would be referenced. But also, let's come across here because on the bench I was referencing, this is an older starboard um, foil. It's not a an, an IQ um, race foil. It, it came out earlier. It's got no registration on it. So this one I'm I'm cleaning up and fairing up and modifying, and I could enter that into an open foil event. I could race in an open foil event with that foil, but I could not uh, race in an IQ foil event. Um, so just having a look closer here, when the IQ class rules talk about the the, the paint. You can see that starboard finish um, their foils with a very faint black, like a airbrushed paint down the trailing edge and also down the leading edge as well. This one has already got a couple of little scratches. That one's probably the deepest and that one I would be able to remove. Probably I would start with um, probably 300, 300 grit wet and dry to remove that, being very careful that I am only uh, smoothing out these scratches within the existing um, surface coat. And you're not allowed to actually go down into the carbon. So here, so on here, you can see where I've modified this um, open class foil blade I've definitely gone down into the carbon but as I um, later on this will be recoated with Duropox to seal it all and then finally finish and polish it so yes effectively these are both starboard foils one I can modify and make faster and true up and make sure it's really fair the other one as much as I'd like to um, I can only um, surface and repair according to the class rules so it's super important here's some notes that I wrote IQ foil racing keep your foils protected right so buy some covers and you'll notice I've got some uh, green these are my foil covers and uh, maintain and protect the serial numbers and the QR codes photograph them take a register of them um, and to maintain these adds value because if you're going to on sell your board to another rider then um, validating that the product is a, a IQ um, product is really important and also to make sure that you know your class rules so I hope that clears up some of the questions that have been asked and um, it's pouring with rain outside and and late at night, but uh, I felt that this video was important to get out. So thanks for watching.